Hello friends, in this video we are going to be find most Java interview question which is how to find duplicate character in a string using for loop. So already I have created a class file and main method. Now we are going to be started to create the string value. In that string value we can find the duplicate character using loop. So for that we have to initialize the string 1 which is welcome to. So here we can find what are the characters uh, printed more than uh, one time E and O. So this is the two character printed as duplicated one. Okay, So this is the output we are expecting for this program. For that only we have to write the logic. So here we are storing as a string. The string value we have to convert it as a character because each character we can check which characters it will be presented more than one time. For that what we have to do convert as a character array. So character. So the string I am going to be store as a character array for getting each character in from the string. Okay. So now I have to take length of this character. So size equal to ch dot length. Now I have to print this size character length size. So now I have to execute this program. We have see what is the output we are getting. Okay, the total character length is string. Okay. Next we have to create a loop. So why we are going to be use the loop concept here. So I just tell you here. For example here we have to create two loop which is i and J. Why we have to create two loop? I just show you one example for understanding purpose. I equal to J. Why we have to compare I equal to J? So here you can see W, E, L, C, O, M, U. Like this way it will be uh, coming one by one character. So each value of character comparing the remaining another character value. For example, E going to be find with the remaining character it will be uh, it will be printed more, more than one time it will be uh, print as a duplicated okay so one by one we need to check uh, take one one character we have to compare remaining characters for example w going to be check remaining characters value so like this way all the character going to be check uh, one by one character value. So if it is uh, same as that character it will be printed as a duplicate. So for this logic only we have to create loop. So now I am going to be create loop for int i equal to 0 then i uh, less than uh, which is size i plus plus this is the one loop and this loop starting from 0 and greater than sorry less than of the size so we have to uh, looping for each character of the string value okay so here i have to initialize one additional uh, int variable which is int count so why we have to take this count i will tell you so int count this count here the one okay sorry next I have to create another one loop which is int j equal to i plus one why we have to give i plus one I will tell you so I first I have to complete this program definitely I will tell you why we are using this one way this is the part uh, definitely you will get confused okay so now we are created two loop which is i and j. So here first I have to come to this part okay. So here int i equal to 0 the size. So based on the size value only it will be increasing one by one right. So int i equal to 0 
which is 0 less than size 10 i plus plus. So, what happen? This condition is true. Then it come to this j loop. So, here what happen? I will tell you here. So, a into j equal to i. What is the i value here? 0, right? 0 plus 1. So, what is the j value now? 1. 1 less than, what is the size? 10. So, here again, this uh, 1 plus plus. Again, come to into j equal to 1 plus 1, 2, 10, 2 plus plus. So, this is the way it will be uh, incremented up to 9, 0 to 9, 0 to 9 because this index starts from 0. The character when after converted character from string, the character value index starts from 0. So, here what we have to do? There is Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So zero to eight. This is the way it will be uh, checking this each condition, right? So when the condition it will be failed, int j equal to nine plus one. Then it will be come to this condition. This condition will be fail here, right? So in this case, going to be loop into i uh, i for loop again. It will be iterate this one. Okay, I understand this value iteration. So then, how we can compare in this uh, the string character value? I will tell you here. Here I have to put one condition. If character i equal to equal to character j. So why I have to give one this condition? i equal to equal to j. And again I have to put another one condition. This character j does not. Okay. Does not space if it is space don't consider this character i have to check only the character not for the space so that reason i just put not equal okay so now what happened it will be going to be equal each character here only we have to use this concept so here what happened uh, i so what is the i value first w it will be check E. It is not uh, equal one. It will be ignore. Ignore. So again, come to W equal to L and uh, C O M U T O. So this remaining all characters does not equal to W, right? So, W character does not equals to remaining character. So, in that case, condition is false. So, again, come to next one, which is E. What is the next character? E character. E character going to be check going to be equals remaining character. So, what happened here? E going to be check L C 
O M E. So the E character will be presented the second time. So in that case, what happened? We are putting one condition. So what is the condition? So character J equal to equal to put zero. Put zero. Sorry. Put zero. So what happened? If it is equal, I don't want print again. Print again the same character. In that case, put as a zero. Okay, got it. So in that case, what happened? W E L C O M. It is uh, the E character will be presented second time. In that case, put as zero. So the same way. When we we have to come to this O character, T this O character also replaced by zero, right? So this is the way we have to check each one. Okay, so already we have put one condition. So before that, before putting at zero, I have to put count plus plus because how many characters will uh, present more than one times that character it should be count so after count only if it is presented more than one times we just put as zero so in that case only we can easily count for this duplicate character so that reason we are using this two loop got it so now what happened out of this j loop here you just print count okay then you just put if condition count greater than 1 if it is more than 1 so obviously if any one character present more than one times the count will be going to be increase more than 1 which means 1 plus 1 equal to 2 or 3 something right more than 1 right so this is the way we have to put condition as one again i have to put and condition what is the and conditions already here i have to put right which is uh, sorry uh, here it is replaced as a zero right so here what happened the character the character does not equal as zero does not equal as zero Okay. So, I don't want count the same character again. Okay. Only how to print uh, this uh, one, one, which is presented more than one time. I have to take the first value. Okay. So, here see the first E uh, character does not replace as a 0. So, when the same character will be present second time, that time, that time only we are updating as a 0. Right. So in that case, I just put as uh, not equal to zero. So here I just put duplicate characters. So what happened? C H I. Okay. So now I just execute this program. What is the output we are getting? Let's see. I just uh, command this one. See, E, O. This is the duplicate characters. Okay. So, this is the way we have to find answer for duplicate character in a string using loop. So, you should understand this two loop. Why we are using two loop? Already I explained you. So, the each character will be checked one by one with the remaining character. For that, we have to add inside J loop I plus 1. Okay, it is going to be increment one by one. So, for example, here we can take W character. Here, I'm going to be take W equal to E. Check whether it 
this equal or not got it so because one plus uh, i plus one i plus one means what it moving to the next character right so here the first loop will be take first character when it comes to the second uh, j loop it will be going to be check uh, with the next character right this is the first w is a first character e is a next character the same way it will be check one by one the w character going to be check remaining character so once it will be completed again going to the uh, int i loop uh, which is i loop again it will be take another character which is e again come to the here the e going to be check the remaining character so when the conditions fail again going to be the this loop so in that case any uh, character it will be equal with i and j value if it is not uh, space it will be take us that count and put us uh, zero so this is the way we have to count the duplicate character so i hope you guys understand this program logic you have to try yourself also that time definitely you will be able to write the own logic for finding duplicate character in a string okay thank you guys